Hey everyone, I'm Hashim. Thanks for watching Pushing Film. And in this video, I'm going to be opening some mail that I just got. This is actually a print and it's part of a print exchange that I participated in with some other YouTubers. So if you've seen my previous video on the channel where I made a print from a 120 film scan, that was the one I made to send to Nico from Nico's Photography Show. And today I'm gonna to be opening up and having a look at the print I received from Borut, who was the person I was nominated to receive a print from based over in Slovenia. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about this lamp I have behind me by Ben Q. So if you're here mainly for that, you can skip ahead using the chapter markers for the short review on the lamp. But for now, let's open up this print. So if you're not familiar with Borut Peterlin, he has a great channel. I uh, definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't yet. Uh, he's a great printer, especially when it comes to darkroom printing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what he um, has printed and sent for me here today. But yeah, he has a great channel. He does a lot of outdoor adventure type stuff and camping, which I'm a huge fan of. He's really funny and entertaining. So I've got a link to his channel in the description of this video, and I highly recommend checking him out. And I'm just gonna take it out of this sleeve here so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, so this is it. This is actually, he told me a little bit about this by email before he sent it. And it's actually a contact print made from a collodion negative. And it's a self portrait of him on top of a train. So really uh, true to character for him uh, to, to make a print of this. I really appreciate getting something as uniquely handmade as this. It's a five by seven collodion contact print of uh, a self-portrait on top of a train. And I'm definitely gonna enjoy having that in the collection. So really nice and unique result there. I love the little imperfections on it and uh, especially around the corners there. And there's also just a little handwritten note on the back there. So thank you Borod for sending me that. And now let's talk a little bit about the Ben Q lamp. So if you watched that last video where I talked about making a print from a 120 film scan, I was talking a little bit about prints in general and I stressed the importance of a few factors like using a well calibrated monitor, for example, and using uh, printing profiles. And one of the things I touched on towards the end because I mentioned that I use a BenQ monitor was that also when it comes to viewing a print, especially with color, and I talked about checking the print under ideal lighting and if you're using artificial light, something having a high color rendering index or CRI is important. So funny enough, Ben Q had shortly after that reached out to me by email and asked me if I'd be interested in receiving and reviewing one of their lamps, which is called the Ben Q WIT. So even though the lamp was provided to me by Ben Q, this isn't sponsored by them and I'm free to say whatever I think about the lamp. So when they offered to send me one for free, of course I'm gonna say yes. And naturally you're not gonna get a lamp like this purely for the purpose of viewing prints, unless maybe you make them full time. But when it comes to viewing prints, a lamp like this is going to be great because it has nice even lighting. It has that high CRI that you want. So you can check the accuracy of the colors on your print compared to what you're seeing on screen. But what I really love about it is that it looks great. It's got a really solid build quality. And if you know anything about myself and Sarah, we're big fans of good design. And even flipping through some of the books we have on design, I feel like this lamp is something that would age really well. And a lot of thought probably went into the design of it. So of course being good for viewing prints, that's not really enough of a purpose I think to justify, at least for myself. So what I like about using the WIT is it's great as a task lamp as well. I can just shift it over to my other desk, which I use for doing things like servicing cameras and changing light seals, but I can also swing it back around to use for an e-reading lamp, which is probably one of its main intended purposes. And when you're using it at your screen, it has a great feature where the light is more intense on the sides and a little bit less so on the middle. It has great controls, really good ergonomics. It's versatile, easy to change the angle. You can change the color temperature and intensity using the knob at the top. So I definitely recommend this for anyone who's in the market for a desk or task lamp. So it goes for 329 Australian dollars at places like Image Science here in Melbourne or JB Hi-Fi. The US price is $229. And if I was in the market personally, I can definitely see that it's worthwhile considering the quality. So I put an Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video. If you're interested in checking out this lamp, I really appreciate anyone who does happen to use that link. And I'm definitely gonna be making the BenQ WIT lamp a permanent part of my office setup. And finally, I just wanna recommend you guys to check out all the other YouTube channels that participated in this print exchange. So not only uh, Borut's channel, but check out all the other channels that I have in the description so you can see what prints uh, they might've sent or received. So I'd like to thank Gregory again from The Naked Photographer for inviting me to participate and for Barut for sending me this uh, great 5x7 contact print. Feel free to also join the Discord server, which I have a link for in the description. Thanks for watching another Pushing Film video, and I'll see you in the next one.